Yes, hello, Andy. Um, good afternoon. Yeah, I can hear you. How are you? Oh, is it? <laughs> All right, I know my mom, typical of her, she won't let you have a day's rest until you bring her here. All right, so how close are you? Uh, okay, I'll just, um, I'll just um, wait for you guys downstairs since you're pretty close. All right, all right. Yeah, bye. I'll be on my way. Uh, uh, so soon? Yes. The kids will soon be back from school. And my husband is alone in the house. <laughs> you are your husband. Always alone in the house and you keeping him company. Why your one Before you have a set of twins. <laughs> but thanks for bringing me here. Thank you, ma. Tell my baby. Auntie. I trust you take care of her. That's not for me. Oh. Ah. Kid, where you go? I trust Thelma. She's a child from a good home, well brought up, disciplined, productive. Eh? Onya, oh my friend. Yeah. Oh, cook with you, boo. Too long on that. Onya came a favor. Wow. I don't have any problems with her. That is why I brought her for my son. Unlike that, eh? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Ofeke. Oko. Okuna wa Lagos. You be say Benin or ye? Benin. My son would have been lost in that. <laughs> so, I don't know what you. You know, it's not meant for it. Okay, oh, did you ask her? What did you say was her problem? Uh, tell me. Yeah. For real? Mama. Yes. Really? Was that why she did not give us her invitation card? Then she should have gotten us a flight ticket. Uh-huh. How you know when we went there? Ours was the... Yeah, I. 
It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. She wants to deny her food. I'm not going to prepare food. Obviously, I'm hungry. Uh, okay. I'll get you something. I'll fix something for you. Honey, say, um, oh, Mama, do you want it now? Talk to me, I'm on the floor. Yes, I want to eat now. Yeah. Okay, honey, I want to go to the kitchen now. I want to prepare something for Mama. Okay. Uh, are um, you going with the phone? Yes, I'm still talking to my husband. Honey, hold on. I'm still talking to him. Yeah, honey, honey, let me talk to you. Yeah, I'm saying that. Like us, if I know. Oh, no, no, I'm with you. It's not okay, 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 okay. Hi, he's still on the floor. Oh, boy. Okay, feel like I see him. Yeah, tell me. Hi. Yes, shut her. Where? Ah, tell me, tell me. Hmm. This film that they are showing on your TV is too bloody. Uh, killing, killing, killing. How was your day? It's fine, Mama. No, I. I went to the boutique today and um, I got you some items. You bought some things for me. Mm -hmm. Hi! Tell my mama, when they jump back, you will look in. For remembering you, God will bless you. Amen, mama. From what I'm seeing here, I already love it. Thank you. <laughs> Check me out in long skirt. <laughs> See, Giorgio. Hey, hey, when I will tie this to church in the village? Beautiful <laughs> mm. scarf. Hey, you got me a purse. This is the color I've been looking for. Ah, this is really nice. Hey, tell me, how can you put my guy? Hey! Oh, I'm on cow. Eh? Looks like he left the bed at the bottom of the pot. <laughs> this is beautiful. Sequence like what I'm wearing. Hey! This is really nice. How much did you buy this? Mama, it's not expensive. It's just uh, twenty-five thousand now. Twenty-five thousand guinea. Naira. Hey, Mama, it's I. I. Jenny, is that how you people waste money? Hey, ne. I would like to see your husband. Mama, see, it's not the same thing with the one you're putting on. This one is from India. It's imported. I don't care if it's from India, China, Kafanchan, America. That is not my problem. You see this thing I'm wearing? Mami Joma sells it for 500 naira. When I say 500 naira, a year 250, 250, 500. Because I used two yards for this. It's still 25,000. It's the same thing. Shiny, shiny sequence. It's not. Ha. Mama, it's okay. If you don't want it, I, I, I can return it or I could resell it. Why you want it? But well, don't leave this thing. Mayenya. Open the bag for me. Open this again. You don't understand, Gene. Tell me, open this bag. I'm popping it for. Open it, please. Let me put all these things. Return it to whoever you want to return it to. I will not wait. Ah. Wasting money in this house. It's the same thing that Mami Joma sells for 500, 250 a year. It's not 25,000. Okay, if you're not just here. Ah. Kelma. Are you frowning your face? No. Then smile. Oh, oh, see, smile. Eh, eh. You got to find that way. You're better not so I don't get angry with you. Good. 
Return them. Remember, many friends are on the TV, Keta. Uh, Gerard, don't misunderstand me. It's not that I'm not appreciative of what your wife is doing to make my stay here comfortable. Mana, expenses are carried. It's too much. Eh? So I need to talk. Oh, can you have no no no? I understand. Okay. Well, trust me. Thelma is just trying to be nice to you. She's trying to give you the best. Yeah, I understand you're trying to help us cut cost, but I know and I understand. But I you remember where we are coming from? It's you and I, you remember? Eh? We hardly had anything to eat. Overnight you became a fisherman just to put fish on our table. Or a second last. I remember. You will grow from strength to strength. Amen. From grace to grace. Amen. The sky is not the limit, it's beyond that. Eh? You will never look back. Nobody will draw you back. You will keep growing and growing. Oh, no. Something else. Eh? I wanted to discuss with you. Let me just go ahead and say it. The way you people stay on the phone for so long. It's too much. Do you know that if you calculate the amount of money you spend in buying airtime, a, a you will build a bungalow now. Uh, uh, not necessarily. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hello, hello, loving you, loving there. Eh? I know what I'm talking about. And you know these telecommunication people? Their aim is to make money. So they don't care about you people. So you are better start caring for yourself. Okay, well, let me enlighten you on that one. You see the, the, the phone? I have a couple of phones, but that particular phone is, is, was given to me by the company and they put a line on it and they recharge it periodically. So the money spent on recharge cards per se is not from my wallet. Oh, yeah, so it's part of the package. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> I didn't know now. Eh? Nobody knows everything. Yes. Okay, now that you've explained, you people go ahead and make the calls. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that I see people going, hello, hello, on our field. Okay, okay. So that is it. All right. Okay. I don't know, I um, hope you've had something to eat. Well, I've had, but if I have with you, <laughs> no that'd be different. Let me change it to something uh, okay. simpler. Good morning. Good morning. How was your night? It was okay. And yours? Very well. What are you drinking? Coffee. Let me go get bread and egg. Uh, this, this is, this is perfect for me. It's usually my, you know, my morning ritual before I head out to work. Is you okay? Yes. And hunger, you will manage mm -hmm. without hunger. I'll be fine, Mom. Yeah. You see, is that what? Yes, I, I do. Oh, I'll see you when I return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go up with one of you. Hi. Can I find it? No. No, no, It is bitter. Hmm. 
Cinco saisons, nous. in my wardrobe. Mama, you have your wardrobe. I don't like it. If you know your clothes are dirty, you put them in the dirty basket. Okay? If you want... Mama. Look what I know. And I thought this girl was respect. She threw this thing. What did you go with? Skin is wearing on the pants. Hey! Kaka, we no more call you that for where born again. I knew you would love this because when you were a kid, you used to enjoy it. Mom, you have no idea. <laughs> you have just made my morning. You have no idea what to say about. I remember now, my second school days, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would have some when, when I'm heading to school and then when I come back, I was there asking you, tell me, they are working there, Jim Mali, you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it. Oh, no, 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 it's always there for you. Eh? And that's why you grew up to be a handsome man. I don't know. Eh? <laughs> Where, where is your wife? She's in the bedroom. She, she knows she's, an, she's not an early rider. I prepared this dish so that all of us would enjoy it. Hey, tell me! Tell me! Come and join us now. Hmm? We are going back to the old days. Look, we love it. First come. This Jiang man is for all of us. This is what you call Jiang man. Hmm? Bored you. I'm not bored to a point where it's really, really soft, it's not tough. Okay, we'll sprinkle red oil on it. Mami, native oil. The face of the air, you know, my other little grinded pepper and salt. All that is in a very local way. Uh, trust me, you will love this one. This is nothing like bread and tea. This okay. is totally African and beautiful. Everything you decided. It's okay, I know what you're trying to say, but I don't want tea. I want to take tea. I want bread and tea. Mm. Mm. Bread and tea. What happened? What happened? Please help me slice, help me slice this jam. I'm sorry, bro. Slice now, if you're not eating, you have those that I eat. Help. I prepared this dish for everyone. You see, you're not hungry. I'm not perceiving something. You see, you're perceiving something. Mama, I'm boring. Yeah. No, no, wait. I'm not even hungry. Leave what you're perceiving and cut. Very long, cut this jam, bro. What will happen now? Hey, uh, nah. huh? I need you to help me wear my bangles. Nah. That's all. Easy. <laughs> Easy with me. <laughs> this is your big cat. <laughs> Oh. 
Or you have three values? Yes, no. <laughs> I thought one is just. Mm -mm. How would they know that my son is rich? <laughs> okay. Right. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Um. Let me. Let me get that one. No, it's uh, it, it's fine. Okay. Cool. We're already late. Yeah. I am. Uh, well, what's the belt? Uh -huh. It's easy now, easy. What is wrong with her? Uh, I thought she was going to open the door for me. Nothing, nothing. Huh? She must be tired, I, I, I believe. You know the traffic was really, really horrendous, eh? So, she's probably exhausted. And it's, it's nothing. Mama. You know we didn't eat before we went to church. <laughs> Did I eat? It, it's fine. Well. I expected her to carry that bag for me. It's <laughs> bad. I want to appeal to you to please, please, tolerate Mama's excesses. All right, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just asking you to be a bit, you know, tolerant. You know, she's an old woman, I know how they can get. Please, darling. Please. If for nothing else, my love, if for nothing else, for the love that we share. For the sake of peace and tranquility in this house. Do it for us. Okay. Look, I know Mama can be, you know, I, I understand, you know. But please, I beg you. Besides, it's, it's almost funny season, you know that. <laughs> it's... So I'm in season very soon. So in a couple of weeks she would want to run back to the village and leave us be. Huh? So that way you and I can go back to the way we used to be and, and live happily. What can we do? Mama is family. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Come here. I could count. You know I I knew I could count on you to be quite understanding. Hmm? And don't take it personal. You know, sometimes the things that she does, you know, can come across as being funny, but sometimes it's really out of love. Ever since I came into Gerald's house, I've not been happy with what I've been seeing. And you know me, I can never keep my mouth shut. I will just say it the way it is. So what is the problem? It's a problem. Problems. Problems. You know, I cannot understand the level of wastage in this house. Every day you see them on the phone. They make endless calls. They throw away food. You know, the one that pains me the most, Nkene woman Meli, not any more is the fact that every morning Gerard wakes up. His wife, I must have on her bed. Wow. Yes, she, she sleeps on. While this boy gets ready, comes out here and takes a, a cup of coffee before leaving for work. Can that thing be tolerated in Ibo land at all? Does Ibo culture allow it? But Adane, you are the one that introduced that to your son. 
and rain praises on her. Eh? Children of nowadays, you can't trust them. Just bear with her. I don't know what sister likes in that girl. That made her to introduce her to her only but one son. Only son! Eh? Oh my god, the one serving today. Right. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 this is fine. You know, I'm really about to swallow this. So, Mama, what that means? That, that, this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you got that one more. In my game, my mom, okay, got to be silver. Thank you. This is a super school. Thank you.
I'll just um, go see what the problem is. I'll, I'll be back. I have to leave this house. Imagine Thelma. I never realized she hates me this much. I can't take this anymore. I have to use the back door to escape so my son wouldn't see me. Um, what did you do that for? Huh? What's the meaning of that drama? You mean I should eat? Just keep quiet! Did you have to embarrass my mother like that? You mean I should eat anything just to please your mother? Excuse me! This is becoming too much in this house. We're right? too much drama in this house. We can't even have a moment of peace. We talked about this before. You know, Mama. You know she has health issues. What well, you want something that will trigger her BP and then something happens and then it's it's whose fault? I expect you to be wiser as my wife. Don't push me on. Don't push me. Now. Yeah, she's oh. well, how will we contact somebody? Yeah, how will we contact yeah, somebody? Yeah, we can't even contact anybody. We don't even have our information. Oh my god. Don't know. Right. Oh my god. This is really bad. I wonder what happened. Oh, oh, Oh. She's still breathing now. Yeah, she's still alive. Yeah. Who's going to help us now? Who's going to
Mommy, when is daddy coming back? Oh, your daddy. He will soon be back. You know the nature of his job. So, much, daddy. Are you okay? What time is it? So, my dear, my children, please go inside. I can't face this. So, this is how our elder sister died. Now that she's supposed to enjoy her son's wealth, they took her away. And I'm sure Thelma is behind her death. Do you know how I feel? <sighs> I feel like going to that house now. I'll struggle her to death. I know that witch. She had an evil mission in that house. I don't even know why sister introduced that Thelma to her only son. Eh? And she caused her death. I will personally throw her things out of that house. That gold digger like her. And I will tell her that the river that cannot be sorted. Mini Gezo, no? Or some Mini Gezo. Chigeji! Mommy, how are you sure that Auntie Thelma killed Auntie? Will you shut up your mouth? I'm what just telling you my own. That is not like I did tell you. Get out of this place now! I said, leave here! Okay. Um, is the pizza ready? Let's get it off. Uh, the pregnancy test shows you are six weeks pregnant. You don't seem to be excited. Anything the matter? Not so. You will not understand. Listen, I am your family doctor. Whatever it is, just let me know. I would like you to keep this between us. Do not let my husband know for now. Is that what you want? Should I break the good news to him? Is it going to make him happy? 
It's gonna change the fact that he thinks I killed his mother. Oh my god. Hold on. Hey, I'm so You do evil thing. You think you have succeeded in killing the hand that brought you to this house? You haven't seen anything. I'm gonna deal with you in this house. And you think you can stay in this house and enjoy this marriage? No, 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 no. You have answers to mother when the time comes. Are you people trying to say that I I have a hand in what killed Mama? Or I... I... Shut up! You pretend that. Do you need a prophet to tell you that? Joya! Mama! Joya! Joya! We shall see! Gerard! No sense. Gerard! Who deal with you? The only sister I have! Precious to me! I will deal with you! I will deal with you! Life is unfair, Doctor. I am. I'm not a very happy man. I am distraught. I don't know what to do with myself. I just want. Oh. I don't know how to deal with this situation. But am I really going to die, Mr. Chairman? You just have to accept your health in good faith. That intense alcohol intake in your system the past months increased. 
Well, the good thing about it is you still have some few months to stay alive. God on your side, you might still see your own bottom. What? My what? My own bottom child, what are you talking about? Um, um, um. No, 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 no. Hold on a second, are you saying that my wife is pregnant and you didn't tell me about it? Oh, Mr. Gerard, please take it easy, okay? You see, if not for anything, for the sake of your health, you don't have to stress yourself at this point. Do you know? Do you have the slightest idea how long I have waited for such good news? And you are supposed to be my family doctor. And you, you find out that my wife is pregnant and you didn't tell me. Gerard, please, please calm down. Please, just for the sake of your health, okay? Please. Do you know what joy it would give? Knowing that I'll be a father. You should have just, you should have just told me. Really, you should, have, you should have just at least told me. That might just have given me another lifeline. Uh, nurse. Yes, doctor. I need to get to the annex now. Okay, sir. Please keep your eye on Mrs. Sizu. Okay? Give her adequate drugs. At least to sustain her life, okay? Okay, I'll do as you say. Okay, please go back to your duty. Gerard, I came to check on you, just like I said the other time. Are you still upset with me? No, I'm not. So why haven't I been taking my calls? Calling you, doctor, would it change my situation? Will it fix this ailment? No, it won't. I know. But at least we still sometimes need to talk to each other. You need my advice. Hmm? You can just... Keep away from me totally like this. What? Mr. Gerard? Don't, don't tell me you are the one taking this. This is not good for your health. Can't you? Do you know what is happening to you? You don't need this for now. Listen to me. I'm a very depressed man. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? If you were in a situation like that, you would take 10 of this every day to just to keep your head above sea level. Do you know the kind of depression that I am dealing with? I do understand. Oh, no, you don't know. You don't have to take this. You think it is easy to live like this and accept that you will die? You, you, you need to stay away from alcohol, cigarette, and all these stuff. To still sustain your life a bit. Please, do away with these things. It won't help you. It will only worsen the situation.
Yeah, hello, um, Barrister. How are you? Oh, please, I, 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 I need to meet up with you. It's, 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 it's urgent. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Um, where are you at the moment? Are you at your chambers? A hotel. What what, what hotel is that? Huh? Oh yeah, of course. I I know where it is. I uh, yes, of course. I can meet you there within the next two hours. Of course. Yeah, sure. I know that hotel. All right. I I I'll see you there soon. Do you want to break the door? Good day, madam. I'm here to see Mr. Gerard. Good day. If I may ask, what, um, what are you doing in my house? And um, what should I address you as, Miss or Mrs? Oh, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Where is your wedding ring? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So it has gotten to the point of you coming to see him in his house, in his matrimonial home. You don't want to wait for him at the hotel, right? Mm -hmm. Mrs. I said leave my house. Please, with due respect, me hand this over to your husband. Love letter. I'm not interested. Bama! Ba! Hey! Where's the manager? I have to go. Hey, manager! Good evening, sir. I hope you're okay. Uh, are, you, are you the manager? Sure. Yeah. Wow. 
say you know you can't drive under the influence of alcohol. Mm. Well, dangerous. Are you the one that brought me here? Huh? Are you the one that brought me here? I said I have to go. You're telling me who made you my gadget angel to sleep? Tell me how much drink is I drank one, two, three, four. Yeah. I have to. Yeah, what's the problem? Tell him I want to go. Okay, what's the problem? He came to drink. Oh. Now he wants to go back with you. But you know he can't drive like this. You know him, right? I have to. Yes, I my have friend. To. I can go. Help me take him to the car, okay? Okay, okay please. Don't be touching me. I want to go. Oh. I swear I will punch. I have to go. You know where he's tired, right? Let's go. I have to go. I have to. Let me go. Leave me. Let me go. Oh, I have to go. I want to go. If you won't leave me alone, let me go. You want me to scoop a larger chunk here? Mm-hmm. Oh. What? <laughs> Seriously, stop it. Just speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. Yep, yep. <laughs> you do. So cute. Thank you, baby. You're so cute. But I think you're cuter than I am. I know, obviously.
at you in the most uncanning fashion. Christy, I... I didn't expect to find my heart where I have found it. You took me on a journey that... I would say has been fantastic. You made me let my heart go and sail on that journey with you and at this point I'm looking at my life and I can't imagine my life without you in it. So baby, can we take this to the next level? Will you please spend the rest of your life with me and be my wife. I might not be able to offer you the world, Christy, but I promise to offer you my heart and be the best man that I can. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh my God. Me? Yes. Me. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my Thank you, baby. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I, I hope it fits. I, I, I do hope it fits. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to spill this. <laughs> a wonderful cook. <laughs> I'm learning from the best dog. I'm so glad you're a man. You don't know how happy I am to have you, darling. <laughs> yeah, I look at you every day and I'm so thankful that you're my woman. Mm. Mm. I love you, darling. I love you too. And as for cooking, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning from the best. I'm learning from you. I'm actually doing tutorials. So. Oh no, you're better than me. But it's it's looking good though, yeah. right? It's it's really really looking good. <laughs> Let me get the plates. All right. Christy! Christy! Christiana!
I know how you feel. Please, please understand that I'm a very confused man right now. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, I, I, I love you. I know you know that I love you. All right. I also love my mother. I love her so very much. I don't want to take a decision that would make her happy and then make you sad. Neither do I also want to take a decision that would make you happy and then make her sad. You know how mothers can be. They can be really, really sensitive. Please. Do I know why this is happening? No. Do I understand what's going on right now? I don't. But please give me time to sort this out. I beg you. How will you understand when you can stand your ground? It's always a problem when a man can stand his ground. Most times, families make wrong decisions for their children. I won't kill myself fighting for a man who has no say for himself. Sweetheart, I have a say. Okay. But I'm, 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 I'm trying to be careful, all right? You know my mom, you know about her health. What, what, you want me to do something that will trigger her blood pressure? That will have another case in her hands. Why don't you just calm down and let, let's work in God's wisdom in resolving this situation. Please, I beg you. You won't take that. Um... I'll, I'll I'll be with you in, in, in a bit, Mama. I'll join you soon. All right? Sweetheart, please. You know, I'll get back to you, please. Mm -hmm. Please, I promise. Mm -hmm. please, please, please. Gerard, my son, I know what is good for you. You forgot that girl. Uh -uh. She is not good for you. That girl is irresponsible. She cannot cook. She wears tattered clothes in short or more. Everything about her just doesn't fit you. Gerald, if you go out with this girl or marry her, 
If you go by Mama, please. You don't know this girl, all right? You, you don't know her. You're not the one dealing with her. Stop judging her. Don't judge her. What judging her? Don't judge her. Hey, come, sh shut up. Who, who do you think you're talking to? I'm telling you something and you're talking about judging. Judge, judging who? What is there to judge? On your bottom, I got news of. What do you judge? Nothing. Let me tell you. You see that girl? If she stays on in this house and I go to the village and come back and I find that girl. <laughs> Gerard, I will kill myself for you. I will war with you. What's going on? I'm sorry, Polu, Polu, go for one. Popu, you know, I've said my bit. Uh, babe. Babe. Uh, there is uh, something I'd like to talk to you about, but I'm, you know, I'm hoping that you don't take it wrongly. Um, it's actually in the interest of peace, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm wondering if... Can you leave first thing tomorrow morning? What? Oh, please. Yes. Me leave? Yes. Why? How? You just calm down. Why? All right, just calm down, okay? Do, do not misconstrue my intentions. Just calm down. All right, just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I'm just avoiding a situation between yourself and my mother. But it, you have to trust me, darling. All right, once this tension blows away, I would come get you. I would come for, for you. You, you got to believe me. Please. Where do you want me to go to? Back to Abuja? Oh, no, you, do, you don't have to go back to Abuja. I mean, you, you, you have this uncle that stays in Lekki, right? I mean, you can, you can, you can patch up with him for a couple of days, you know, given how long this, this takes. But worst case scenario, you, you know, you can go back to Abuja for the meantime. I know you forgot to this! <laughs> Jared! I believe I've told you something. Jared! You just calm down, all right? I know you forgot to this! Jared, I know you forgot to this! You know you forgot to this! Jared, I know you forgot to this! I know, Jared! Here you are, on my bed. I can decide to kill you right now just to pay your mother back for all she did to me. Let me see how she come back from the grave to take revenge on you. It's true, they say what goes around comes around. Gerard, Gerard, Gerard. Uh, I'll spare your life because I've never wished you bad. I have prayed and fasted for you, Gerard. I loved you from the bottom of my heart. So I'll never wish you evil. So I bless you and your marriage and your wife.
Gerard, where are you coming from? Gerard, you made me to have a sleepless night. Ah! So it has gotten to the point to no longer return home at night. Well, I have good and bad news for you. The good news is, I'm pregnant. And the bad news is, I'm living your life. Your house is me. Auntie. Oh, Auntie, I'm so sorry to wake you up. Yes, Auntie. And like I was saying last night. Yes, about my husband's ailment. I remember you said your hospital specializes on such ailments. Auntie, please, I need your help. Amen, Auntie. Okay. Okay. Yes, Auntie, it's okay, Mia. Okay. Okay, Auntie. It's like, let's see. So I'll call you back. Thank you. 
You look good. Thank you. You know you're my strength, right? You know you. You know you give me strength <laughs> to take each day as it comes. You. Your belief in me has given me a reason to continue to live, Alma. These are very trying times for me. I am a very, very depressed man, but your love for me has remained steadfast. Thank you. Thank you so much. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. You shall not die or live to declare the works of the Lord. You will be fine. Okay. Mama. You know I love you. Right? What? What is it? I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> That it breaks my heart to know that I will not be here when this child arrives. That I won't be here to stand by him like a father should for his first seed. That I won't even have an idea what he looks like. Do you know how that makes me feel every day? You will be alive. Trust me and <sighs> believe in God. <laughs> What do I believe? God or the doctor's report? You know what they said, that I have just a couple of months to leave and... Whose report will you believe? I don't know. You shall believe the report of the Almighty God. By His stripes you are healed. Honey, just have to have faith in God. Believe in Him, you will be fine. I believe you. Let me get to breakfast. Okay? Thanks, love. Uh, sweetheart, you know I want coffee, right? No. I'm the woman in the house. Okay, it's you my choice. <laughs> Alright, I'll bet you win this time. <laughs> you have no choice, baby. Bless you, love. You need to be strong. Gerard, you need to be strong for me. See, all arrangements concerning the trip is been taken care of. I've made all arrangements with my aunt who lives abroad. I strongly believe that God can use the doctors over there to heal you. You just need to be positive. Okay? They are trained specialists. Trust me. Okay. Are you sure? I'm asking because I don't. Gerard, you have to trust God. Have faith in God. You do my sister. The long term man is not pregnant. And what has that got to do with your mother? Punish her for her misdeeds! Oh. And I wonder why the president has not yet summoned her. You know what? First thing tomorrow morning, we will go and visit our president. I think we have to do that. He must, she must do something.
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my wife here has a few things to say. Sweetheart. The floor is open. This is for those who <laughs> think God neither sleeps nor slumbers. Who says God cannot turn your sorrows to joy? Who says doctor's report says it all about your life? Who says you will not carry your child? Who says you'll be barren for life? Who says, who says, who says? When the Lord God have not spoken, no one. I hereby advise you to never give up. Always believe in God. Trust Him because He is the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you. Let's all go upstairs and celebrate someone.